Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and salutations to the elect. Scattered broad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amawan Gobar, back with another one. Lord willing to edify and defeat the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh through the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. Lord willing, this is edifying, straight to the point. Now, this is another proverb of the day, and this one is pretty much going to be along the lines don't. Don't let everybody know your secrets. That's one. And also, don't be spilling nobody's secrets once they told it to you. All right? So it's like almost twofold. Don't be, don't be letting everybody know anything about you or your secrets or whatever. You know, exposing yourself. That's all. Um, and the second part is if, you know, brother or somebody in general, mainly let's be talking about brothers, do put you on to some secret. You know, don't go exposing it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, you know, a general thing, you know, because um, I was reading through the book of Proverbs and it led me to this particular one. All right. Which is a wise thing to do, which is a wise proverb to keep. You know, it, it could save you your soul. It could save you, you know, out of many different situations, so on and so forth. And you never know who you may be telling your secrets to, you know, your family members, friends, your, you know, your wife, you know, all that pillow talking stuff. You know, you just got to be careful. You know, certain things is better left, you know, unknown, you know, between you, the Most High, and Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shining Angels. That's it. Just, that's certain things, you know. So, of course, sometimes you're going to want to put brothers on, put people on a certain thing. That's fine, too. But know who and, and when, you know, is a time and place for everything. Just know. Just be wise about it. You know, that's pretty much all I'm saying. Just be more wise about it. And, I'm, you know, I'm telling myself this, too, because this is something I learned over the years, you know, you may tell somebody something, they come back and bite you in the ass. It happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And you learn from it. You know, you learn from it. You know, all right, I, I know I'm not going to do that no more. So, anyway, this is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 11. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. All right, so a fool uttereth all his mind. Whatever, In other words, whatever is on your mind, and you, go, you uttering it, then you a fool, you know? You're a fool because you got people out there that just every everything that comes to their mind, without even giving it a second thought, they just utter it. They just say what's on their mind, and that's some foolish shit. That's how you expose secrets about about yourself. You know, especially if you got some liquor in your system, then forget about it. You know, most people, most people just gonna sit back and let you continue to speak and expose yourself. You know, or if if it's a true friend, they'll tell you, listen, man, you you know, you're kind of saying too much right now. You know what I mean? That that's what a true friend would say. You know, a true brother would say, listen, bro, you know, you're kind of saying too much, man. I don't need to know all of that, brother. I mean, I appreciate, you know, all that, you know, you being comfortable around me, whatever, whatever. But you don't want to be too comfortable either. You know, but you just be like, listen, bro, you're saying too much, man. All right. I don't need to know all that about you. That's your personal information. You know, you can keep that to yourself. All right. And when a brother do check you and say something like that, don't get offended. Just be like, yeah, you know, just think about it. You know, maybe this brother's right, man. You know what I mean? I'm maybe I'm talking too much. Think about it, man. You know, so anyway, this is simple. This is basic, man. It's, you know, it's like one on one. The book, the uh, Proverbs twenty nine eleven, a fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in until afterwards. You know, I, I I see people. I got family members. You know, people I know that just talk too damn much. Sometimes you just sit there, sit back, and you just be like, damn. If I was your enemy, you'd be in trouble. You'd be in trouble if I was your enemy because the amount, the amount of shit you saying, just exposing yourself. You know, it don't take much to put, uh, you know, two and two together and, and figure certain and more things out about you. You know, so, hey, the scriptures say that the Lord said, I, be, um, I send you out as, as a sheep in the midst of wolves. All right. Therefore, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. You know, just remember there's wolves everywhere. All right. There's wolves everywhere. And um, let me go from there to uh, <clears throat> real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 18 It says do no secret thing before a stranger For thou knowest not what he will bring forth Alright don't be doing no secret things Or saying your secrets before strangers you know don't get, You know you go, you got your job site You know everybody you know chill You got, you got people out there that, that they, they so they crafty and manipulative That they know how to try to, let, try to make you open up and, and expose yourself Be careful of that man be careful of that. You know, don't ever feel too comfortable around people in this world. You know, telling them every damn thing about you. I mean, you telling them everything about yourself, getting all comfortable. You know, you know, your gym buddy, you know, your co-worker, 
Hey, just just keep quiet and let everybody else talk, man. All right? Be wise and just, just keep your mouth shut. That's why scripture say, do no secret thing before a stranger. All right? A stranger. Okay? For thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Because you don't know what he going to bring forth from it. All right? You don't know what he's going to do with your secrets. Okay? How he's going to use it against you and destroy you. All right? Verse 19 says, open not thine heart to every man. That's another one. Don't open your heart. All right, which your, your heart is your mind. All right, your, your spirit is the, is the word lab. Okay, not to every man. Don't open it to every man. All right, least he requite thee with a shrewd turn. All right, least he requite thee with a shrewd turn. Let's look up that word uh, uh, shrewd. S-H-R-E-W-D. All right. S. Let me see. Bible. S-H-R. Let me see. S. H R E W D. Shrewd mean mark, marked by clever, discerning awareness, and hard-headed, given to willingly and artful ways of or, or dealing. Severe, hard, sharp, piercing, mischievous, abusive. All right, shrewish, omni, om, ominous, and dangerous. All right, so these are some um, synonyms. Artful, beguiling, cagey, crafty, cunning, cute, designing, devious. So you get the picture. All right. They use it against you. They beguile you. All right. They use it against you. They devise, you know, this uh, mischievous thing against you. All right. When you open up your expose yourself to, to certain to strangers. OK, let's read that again. Open not thy heart to every man. Least he requite thee with a shrewd turn. So you're going to use it against you. And, um, and, you know, in craftiness, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't let everybody know anything about you, man. Point blank, period. That's just, that just is what it is. Use wisdom. At the end of the day, use wisdom. And, and of course, that comes with experience. You know what I'm saying? And even amongst the brotherhood, you know, don't, don't let the, the brotherhood know your, your every secrets about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're doing. Uh, uh, um, your social security number. I mean, why, why would you tell anybody that, you know? I'm just giving examples. How much money you got in your bank account. You know, you come across, hey, I, I, you know, me and the brother was having a conversation the other day. You know, even if you come across a lot of money, you know, brothers don't got no, I just came across. I'm just giving an example. I just got $500 million, which I wouldn't want that much money. I don't think any brother would want that much money, you know. But if brothers find out, then you best believe, you know, the flesh is going to get all type of jacked up. The flesh is going to be like, you know, oh, this brother got all this money and I still got to work, which th that brother... At the end of the day, if anybody come across that kind of money, they got to they gotta look out for the body. All right? They got to look out for the church. They got to look out for the body. And that goes without say. You know what I'm saying? That goes without say. You take care you take care of the church. You know? But as far as saying, yeah, bro, I just came across $28, uh, $28 million. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to say all that. Just, just be open. Just be open. Just be open with your pockets. Brothers in need, they got it. All right, you keep that specific amount to yourself, you know. Just give an example because that would that would the scripture said a gift destroyed the heart. All right, that would destroy the heart. It will it will, it will, it will jack brothers up. Like, you know, that damn this brother got all this money. You know, some brothers never gonna want to work again. You know how Israel is, man. I'm just giving you examples. <coughs> I'm just giving examples, all right? Um. This is Ecclesiasticus 27, verse 16. Whoso discovereth secrets loseth his friend loseth his credit and shall never find friend to his mind. Let's read that again. Whosoever whoso discovereth secrets loseth, loseth his credit. So if you discover somebody's secret, somebody tell you a secret, and they tell you there's no tell nobody, you know, because obviously that's what a secret is between me and you. All right. You don't say nothing because you discover me to uncover it to, to, the, to people. You lose, you lose credit. You lose all credibility. All right? That person now ain't ever going to want to tell you nothing and then even deal with you on a certain level. All right? Hey, the scriptures tells us how to, how to, how to, um, how to live, how to, how to, uh, judge, how to, you know, deal amongst each other, how to, how to, how to, you know, carry yourself on a daily basis. It's all written in the scriptures. It says, whosoever discovers the secrets loseth his credit and shall never find his friend to his mind. Love thy friend and be faithful unto him. All right? Your friend is your brother. Love your friend. Love your brother and be faithful unto him. All right? 
It says, but if thou betrays his secret, follow no more after him. Okay. If you, if, you know, a hey, scripture do say, <clears throat> um, about if your brother trespass against you, how many times you should forgive him, you know, uh, seven times more. All right. You, you, you supposed to always forgive your brother. This is, uh, verse 18 for as a man have destroyed his enemy, so has thou lost the love of thy neighbor. And that's plain. Um, even Yahweh Shah gave an example of, you know, just pretty much being, being secret, you know, you or using, uh, discretion. All right. When he was talking about giving alms, this is Matthew chapter six, verse three, it says, but when thou doest arm, let not thy left hand know what thy right, right hand doeth. All right. Okay. What does that mean? Don't, it don't mean your, your left hand, you know, you, you digging in your pocket with your right hand, but. You put your left hand behind your back. No, it's not literal. It just means you don't let everybody know what you're doing. All right? Do it in secret. Okay? That's why the next verse says, But thine arms may be in secret, that thy arm may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. Okay? So you don't got to let everybody know, you know, what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? A brother, a brother, brother needs something, and he come and ask you. You know, you're know, like, yeah, I just gave his brother, you know, uh, uh, such X amount of money. I just, I just gave, you know, I looked, you know, I, f what are you doing that for? You know what I'm saying? That's between you and your Howard Bosch, Shimmy Howard Shining Angels, man, and that brother. You know, you don't got to be, you know, letting everybody know what you're doing, man. You know, just you got secrets, just a secret is supposed to be just that, a secret, okay? Keep it discreet. All right, so, I mean, I hope this was edifying and the examples that I used were, were plain, all right, and edifying to the elect. So I'm going to end it here, Lord willing. Until next time, I say Shalom.